everyone you're probably in a situation where for some reason you think you have a virus on your iphone now you may get a pop-up like this or even worse you may be feeling like you actually have a virus when you actually do and you may be trying to figure out how you can remove that virus and or even detect if you have a virus in the first place now i will be completely honest the likelihood of you having a virus on an iPhone is so rare that it really isn't even possible for the most part unless you're trying to actively modify your you know, actual iPhone. So for example, if you've recently jailbroken your iPhone or if you've been installing random tweaked applications on your iPhone, then you're probably at a higher likelihood, but even then it's pretty rare. If you don't have any idea what I'm talking about, then that's even better. Then that probably proves that you probably don't have a virus on your iPhone. Most probably though, a lot of you have seen little pop-ups like this. Maybe you have little pop-ups on your calendar that show that you have a virus, or maybe every single time you load up your internet browser like this, you get a pop-up that says your iPhone has a virus, yada, yada, yada. If this ends up showing, if this ends up being what it is to you, this really just means that you have some spam thing that saved itself as a bookmark on your iPhone. It's not a virus and it's really easy to fix this. So what you wanna do here, is you wanna make your way over to your settings application like this. You wanna scroll down until you see Safari, which is typically down here. You wanna go and click on it. You'll come here and all you have to do is go and scroll down until you see clear website and history data, whatever. Click here, clear website and history data, and that will probably end up fixing that. Now, another thing, now let's say that pretty much fixes it, then you're pretty much done. However, let's say you truly do feel like you have a virus on your iPhone, you feel like things are moving around by itself or whatever the case is, realistically, the only way to even prove or fix a virus on an iPhone is to actually go ahead and factory data reset your device. So this will delete everything from your iPhone, but as long as you have access to your device, you should be able to actually go through and back up realistically everything from your iPhone. So all of your applications for the most part, like Snapchat and TikTok and Cash App and Instagram, all these things will already save your data in the background anyway, so you don't have to do anything else. But if you have an application such as, you know, like your photos apps, for example, or videos saved on your phone, you want to go ahead and back up everything from your iPhone first. So back up all your photos and videos and everything like that. And then what you want to do is you want to go ahead after you back it up, you want to make your way back over to your settings panel like this. You'll come here. You want to scroll down until you see general, which is right there. You want to scroll down again until you see transfer reset iPhone. And here you want to erase all content and settings. So this is going to delete everything from your iPhone. And this is really the only way to remove or fix a virus on your device. So here you're going to erase this iPhone. You're going to click continue. And this is pretty much what's going to happen. So those are really the main ways to do it. If you're still having issues after this, you may have a faulty iPhone. It may not have a virus, but it may be faulty in some way. So that's pretty much it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.